Hello, welcome back to another video. So today I thought I'd take you through comparing my Whoop strap, which I've had now for about three months, and comparing it to my Wahoo Ticker um, heart rate monitor. This is um, just for cycling purposes, so I don't really do much other exercise. I do the gym, but I don't wear my heart rate monitor whilst in the gym, whereas I wear my heart rate monitor cycling and I wear my Whoop cycling. And I thought it might be interesting to sort of show the accuracy and where the whoop maybe lacks. I mean, I'm not saying my heart rate monitor is 100% accurate, but I think a Wahoo ticker is pretty much there. Um, I've noticed a few variations within the whoop. Sometimes it follows absolutely perfectly and sometimes it doesn't. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll take you through. Uh, so I've got a workout on Thursday, the 12th of November here. This was a two hour endurance ride. If I take the training peaks file first. So if we look at that, that's two hours zone two. It's a bit bad quality because I've cropped it down uh, to, to match the whoop data below. Um, now you can see here the whoop data here. Um, now the duration is a bit longer because this is auto tracking by the whoop. I don't actually set it to start and stop. I just so it picks up when I'm sort of starting to get ready and then stops when I finish. Uh, maybe I've made a sandwich and sat down afterwards. So maybe that's why it's a bit longer. Um, but having a look into the data, if I just sort of turn the opacity down, we can see that it's it's tracking very, very closely. I mean, to be honest, there's not really much in that at all. They both follow very, very nicely. Maybe the whoop doesn't pick up the right drop offs or maybe it's the ticker just um, being a bit aggressive, um, maybe dropping out here and there. It's, but yeah, that that is very, very accurate. And that's a two hour zone two endurance ride. Um, and I think the, the training peaks has an average heart rate of 140 um and then the average heart rate is 135 and bearing in mind i've got a little bit before and a little bit after as well um so to be fair that's pretty much bang on there can't expect much more moving on now this is an interval session so this was before the two hours zone two on the 12th again um but earlier in the day and again i mean that is tracking absolutely perfectly the whoop is spot on there the only thing i would say is it's when when the ticker picks up a peak the whoop sort of goes up to the peak and drops and then maybe start, picks it up a lit again a little bit um, but the max heart rate for the uh, whoop there is 186 whereas in training peaks the max heart rate was 192 so it's not quite picking up the real peaks but that is tracking absolutely perfectly and I, that is, I'm very, very happy with that. Um, now, this is a few days before and it starts to fall apart here. So this is on Saturday the 14th. This was a Zwift Academy workout and it was three sprints. This was around Innsbruck. So it was three sprints followed by about a 15 minute effort over threshold up the climb and you can see here it really lags behind so the the ticker sort of picks up the peak sprint heart rate and then drops back down and it's almost as it's coming back down the whoop picks it up it's a bit better on this one but you can really see it on this one i'm building up and then i sprint and as it's coming down the whoop then picks it up and you can really see that delay in the start of the th of the threshold effort. I mean, I'm holding up in the 180s to 190 here, according to the ticker. And the the whoop is um, it doesn't seem to hold a high consistent heart rate. It struggles, and I noticed that when I was time trialing, the whoop really struggled to hold a high consistent heart rate up in the 180s, 190s. Um, so if we look, my max heart rate is 187, which is probably not far off. And you can actually see it's shooting up a little bit. I might not have the graphs lined up perfectly here, but the max heart rate, according to the ticker, uh, was 190. So they're pretty close, they are, um, 187 and 190. But yeah, it is it is starting to struggle um, a little bit there. I would say it doesn't hold up quite so well on on very high heart rate, longer intervals. Um, 
then if we go along to another ride this is a four hour zone two ride and to be honest the i've got some smoothing on the ticker there's no smoothing applied to the whoop but there's no faults there to be honest that's pretty much bang on with an average of 134 according to the whoop and an average of 141 according to the ticker they're a little bit out maybe um but not not too much um that might be i mean the the graph seems to run on a little bit longer on the ticker than on the whoop so i'm not sure quite happened there what happened there um but yeah they they're pretty they're pretty close i'm happy with that one and then this one starts off really well tracks perfectly and then i don't know if maybe it gets a bit sweatier and it really starts to fall 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 behind but like the whoop just drops out there i mean i'm i've started my intervals these are these were 30 30s these were uh no sorry these were 40 20 uh 20 40s then 30 30s and then 40 20s followed by a zone 5 ramp up and yeah at the start the whoop drops out a little bit there but fine perfect and then when i start my interval you can see it's starting on the ticker and then the whoop just drops out down to a 90 bpm uh, 110 bpm almost and then it pretty it follows quite well once it then finds it and then we drop down and it's pretty close and then i start the interval and it drops out again but then a few minutes into the intervals and it's tracking nicely again and then here it just completely misses the start of the interval and it's all over the place for that one um, and it just completely misses the zone 5 ramp up there so it's a little bit hit and miss it's strange i don't know what the difference was between the 17th and the and the 12th um it could be anything it could be down to my hydration maybe it reads the skin better i haven't changed the tightness of the strap i keep it on the same tightness but i do wash it regularly so maybe it was cleaner that day i don't know it's it, it maybe needs some more looking into um but if we go to another ride there's another zone two ride here and the ticker port the training peaks pauses the ride so that's why the training peaks heart rate doesn't go right down there but you can see that again that one's perfectly fine at low steady state um efforts the zone two the heart rate tracks very closely we've got an average heart rate of 136 there and 136 there so that's absolutely bang on um maybe a little bit higher on the whoop because it hasn't picked that drop out um because it's paused but yeah i mean an another three hour zone two ride and that's uh pretty much bang on there now this is probably one of the worst rides uh, again this is the most recent ride i did as well um yesterday three hours um for some reason the whoops just dropping out here and there i don't know why maybe it needs a bit more of a uh, an adjustment maybe i was maybe a bit dehydrated um so it wasn't reading as well um I, I wear it on the same wrist most of the time i do i do change wrist probably once a month for a couple of days just to let the skin breathe um but yeah uh, that most recent ride wasn't so good um so i think it definitely needs some further looking into i'm definitely going to gather s i'm going to look at some more data ov overlaying like this but it's interesting to look at at first to see how well they track and to be honest i think the whoop does a pretty pretty good job um i am happy with it now i'm not saying the tick is perfectly accurate but i'd say it's a, a, a good way to compare um but yeah i'm definitely gonna do some more looking into the rides and see may, maybe investigate look at days what i did differently where the whoop doesn't read as well and um maybe i'll be able to report back and see where it falls short but at the moment i'm very happy with it um if you guys are interested in any more videos about the whoop just uh let me know in the comments below and uh thank you very much for watching i hope you found this one a bit interesting if you don't know what whoop is i'll uh put a link in the description below so you can check out their website um but yeah Thank you very much for watching and uh, I'll catch you in the next one.